Hey y'all, welcome to my March favorites. Thank you all for tuning in. And I wanted to start off um, this month by doing a March favorites video and I meant to get it out sooner. Sorry if it's a little bit late, but it's the one video that I love watching from a million different gurus. I could watch 15 of these in a month and not get tired of them. But anyways, the first product that I want to mention is a product by Bath & Body Works and it is the True Blue Spa blueberry or blackberry I'm sorry purifying peel off face mask and this mask is awesome like I ordered it from the Bath and Body Works website I made a purchase um, probably back in February maybe the end of February and ordered some um, hand soaps from there they had a sale going on and it was like free shipping and you had to order like so much to get the free shipping, I think, or something like that. So I only lacked a little bit more, so I picked out a face mask. And this one had really great reviews, and so I thought, why not? I'll try it. And to my surprise, I fell in love with it. This one you actually peel off, and guys, it is black. It is like jet black. I mean, it comes out like a black clay type thing. It's really like creamy, but when it dries, it dries, you know, kind of hardens on your face and then you just kind of peel it off. And there is a little bit of excess on your face afterwards, but I just take a sponge and wipe the rest of it off. But I love this, guys. And it has really helped keep my, I feel like keep my pores a little cleaner. So I feel like if I use this once or twice a week, it is cutting down on the breakout. So that is a major plus for me because I do have very acne prone skin. I know y'all might not can see because this is very forgiving light, lighting and, and everything, but I do. I break out, I get the bumps underneath the skin, and this has helped it clear up quite a bit. So I do love this, and I recommend recommend it if you plan on using a mask regularly. I think if you use it once or twice a week, you'll notice a difference. So that is the first thing. And the next product is also a fa facial mask I want to put in two here. And this one I've actually had in my drawer for quite some time. And for whatever reason, I didn't fall in love with it the first time I used it. But lately, since I've been into this mask, I've been using it in conjunction like with it, like together. So I'll use maybe this once a week and this um, another time of the week. So I'm using a face mask usually twice a week, but this is great because it's a bit more moisturizing. This one is mainly for purif purifying, and this one will too, but it is adding a little bit of moisture to your face. So I like using them together, but it is the Time Balm Skin Care White Tea Blueberry Face Treatment Mask, and it is by The Balm. And I love the Balm products. I, I've never had anything from there that I didn't like. I just wish it was easier to get a hold of. I feel like ordering online sometimes, I don't know, I like things that I can go and pick up. So, But if I ever get a chance um, to get more products from the Balm, I would definitely be interested in it and open to it because I've never had anything I didn't like. Um, but this actually says, infused with blueberry extract, our Time Bomb Face Treatment Mask absorbs impurities and gently exfoliates dead skin cells, leaving skin free of pollutants. But it's for normal to dry skin. But I'll show you the consistency of this one is like very creamy. So it does exfoliate your skin and I feel like it helps kind of like if you have any red marks or whatever, it will lighten them a tad. But at the same time, um, I don't know, it's a bit more moisturizing. But it's funny because this is blueberry and this is blackberry. So kind of funny. But those are the masks that I've been loving. And the next product is a product that I purchased. Um, before I went to a wedding, and my cousin got married at the beginning of March, and he got mar married in Charleston, South Carolina, and I love Charleston. Like, it is just, it's beautiful. I fell in love with it. It could not have been a more perfect wedding, but before I was going, I was just working a lot. It's kind of under a lot of stress, and I felt like my skin was just feeling really dull and had some breakouts and different things. So I went and I went to Estee Lauder and ended up breaking down and buying the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. 
and I've purchased this before. I used it, and I just bought it because my skin felt so dull and dehydrated, and this really does make it feel softer and more moisturized, but it is very, it's pricey. I mean, I won't say it's very expensive because compared to some things and to other people it might not be, but it definitely is um, a pricier, you know, skincare item for me. But it does make a difference, and it made my skin feel incredibly soft and helped, like, where I have breakouts. I feel like it just, it really helps acne, and I know it doesn't say that it's supposed to, but if you are in your early 20s or you have adult, you know, acne-prone skin, um, try to get a sample for this because I swear it, like keeps them from like, I don't know, I feel like getting worse or whatever. Like I can use this and I feel like my skin will be a lot clearer the next day. And it just overall helps your like complexion and texture of your skin. So I really have been enjoying this and been using it, you know, religiously morning and night. Even though it says night, I use it in, in the morning too. So the next product is a hair product. And I debated whether or not to put this in here because I kind of have a love-hate, but I have been using it all the month, month of March, and it is the Catwalk Volume Your Highness Weightless Shine Spray, and I use this before I flat iron, and I do really like it. My only thing is either I'm going to love it or I'm going to hate it, and it all depends on how well I am at spraying it that day. <laughs> this is an awesome shine spray, but I have been guilty of getting it too close, or maybe if my hair is like third day hair, and I've already got a little bit of grease to it, or oiliness, you know, this can be a bit heavy. But if your hair is, especially, you know, first day hair, it's really clean, and you're wanting to add some shine to it, um, I really feel like this is very comparable to the Chi Shine Spray, and it may be a bit cheaper, I'm not sure, but I do really like it, and it is a very nice shine or heat protectant, but be careful how you spray it. Maybe don't get too close. Kind of keep it kind of far out. Little goes a long way. So that is my first hair product, and my second hair product is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In. Um, I have tried and true. I've used this a few times before and I've never been disappointed. This is awesome if you have highlights or have had any kind of breakage. I've been turning my clients onto it. We started carrying some of their It's a 10 products at the salon and I mean I just feel like if you your hair really is in either bad shape or you do a lot of highlighting this is definitely going to make a difference. It's going to add more moisture. It's amazing. So love this. And we, I will definitely repurchase. And to a body product that I have been loving, um, this is the Banana Boat Summer Color Self Tanning Lotion in Light to Medium. And this product I heard about last year. I never could get my hands on it. Um, the Walmart in my town is not particularly good. I hate going to Walmart. I avoid going there unless I have to just because... Um, I don't know. It's just, it's not very good. It's old Walmart. And I've been to other Walmarts that are really nice, but just mine is not. So I always go to Target, and Target does not carry the Banana Boat Sunless Tanner. It only carries the, um, I think, what is it, like sunscreen or something. And, it, and it's like one type or whatever. So I finally got a hold of it this year, and I bought it for my cousin's wedding. Um, because like I said, it was the beginning of March, and it was still pretty cold here. It was rainy, and I was pale as a ghost. Definitely hadn't been going to the tan in bed. I didn't have time to get a spray tan, so I picked up this, and it actually does really well. You have to, you have a little bit of streaking, you know, if you don't apply it, you know, evenly. It's definitely not, oh my gosh, that scared me. <laughs> definitely not foolproof, but it is really good, and it does give you a little bit of color, and um, it's just enough. So, sorry. Someone's making really weird noises in the house. And um, this is a product that I've mentioned before. It's a makeup product, but it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm sure you've heard many people on YouTube mention it. Um, but I was using the MAC uh, Mineral Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, and I still really do like that. But it is a bit more expensive, and um, I don't know, the last time I got it, I think I got a shade too dark, and it tends to get 
cakey if you're not careful, if it's not just the right shade. Um, I've had it before in liner shades and it never got cakey on me. But you know how powder is. If you get it that one shade darker, it can make all the difference. So I just felt like, I don't know, I was kind of over it for a while. So I went to this Rimmel and as you can see, I've already hit pan on it. I've been using it as a touch-up powder and it definitely has been a lifesaver. And then another makeup product that I have been loving is the CoverGirl Blush in, what is it, 590 Soft Mink. And I think that I have actually bought this before, but it has been years ago. And I actually had not, I love blush, but I had not purchased a blush in a really long time. And I just thought, you know what, I'm like, tired of wearing the same thing. I'm just going to pick one up. I was in the store. And so I was looking and I just really liked this color because it looks like the color is that I like. It just is soft, but it's got a little bit of sheen. I have it on today. Um, but it's just, it makes your skin look really like glowing, but it doesn't have like a lot of glitter in it. So I really do like that. And then um, the next makeup product, I'm almost done. I'm sorry guys. I have so many products for my favorites, but I haven't done a favorites. Um, well, I think I did one last month, but I haven't been doing them regularly, so I feel like I have a lot this month, but my next favorite um, is an eyeliner, and it is the MAC um, Gel Liner in Dip Down, Dip Down Brown, or just Dip Down, but I love the MAC Gel Liner. They stay really well on me. I have it on today, and they just they stay so well on me, and that is something I struggle with. Eyeliner tends to smudge on me and go everywhere, so this actually works pretty well. I've used it before, but I've just, you go through phases, and I feel like I'm just now getting back into the phase where I'm wanting to do gel liner and not pencil, and I'll use this for a while, and I'm sure I'll go back to something else, but so far, I've been in the gel eyeliner mode. And the next one is a Revlon lip gloss. And I think the same time that I actually purchased the blush, I purchased this lip glo gloss. And it's the same color, sort of. But it's just like a mauve I don't know. But it's the Revlon um, Color Burst, I think, line or whatever. But I do love this on its own. But, I, like, today I have it over another lipstick like a hot pink lipstick and it's good to layer over things as well because it's very pigmented so it can be worn alone but you can also add it to stuff which is fun but it's I like these I like these a lot I like these better than the Revlon lusterizing or luster lip glosses so love that and then and then um, I have got the Physicians Formula Cover RX Concealer now, I'm not currently still using this because the only thing that is just a bummer about this concealer is that they don't have many shades. It was either like the light was really light or the whatever the next shade up was was a lot too dark. So, I don't, I don't even know if that makes sense, but it just did not... The shades are not for everybody, but I decided it was in March. I was still really pale, so I decided to go for this, but since I've been, now that we're into April and I've been using the Banana Boat self-tanner, it's kind of getting where it's a bit too pale, but like for my cousin's wedding, I actually um, used just this concealer, sort of, as a foundation, and then just went over with blush and bronzer and whatever, because this is, like, some heavy-duty stuff, like, um, it's awesome, it's a, sh um, physician strength concealer or whatever, but it's great, it, because it's real thick, and I actually really like it, um, but I have a new concealer that I'm using now that I I actually think I like a little bit better, but I'll show you all that in my April favorites. But this is just really good for those like hard to conceal areas or when you're just wanting a heavy duty concealer. I don't recommend it for under the eyes because it's a little bit too drying, but it is awesome for blemishes and you can even mix this like with a tinted moisturizer and do it as a foundation. Um, but I heard about this um, through Crystal. Crystal loves makeup here on YouTube, and she always had recommended it, so I decided to give it a try. So those are all of my beauty favorites. I think I covered everything. Did I have enough? And um, the only other thing that I want to throw in, and it's not a beauty item, 
that I had to throw it in. I have been loving my K-Cups um, Donut House Light Roast Coffee this month. Um, all the month of March. I'm actually out of them. I just brewed my last one. I'm so sad. But this was actually a surprise to me that I liked it because I normally do not like light roast coffees. Um, but in this K-Cup form, I feel like everything's a little bit stronger. Like the light roast tastes more like a medium roast. But these are actually really good. So I've been loving these. And that concludes my March favorites. That was like the longest video ever. I'm at 15 minutes now. So oh, I know y'all are ready for me to shut up. <laughs> but I hope y'all enjoyed this video and y'all are having a great April. It's really pretty and sunny here. And I hope to see y'all again soon. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.